Alrighties, I'm going to show you how to fillet and crumb another puffer fish really quickly. Alright, so. One here. Here we go. Alright, guys. This one's a bit concerning. See how there's a red in its uh, fins? Anyways, smooth toady, so it feels smooth and slippery. That's why they call it smooth toadies, I guess. But you want to find the 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 poopy hole. Alright. I like to think of it as a belly button, but we will grab the scissors, insert it into its belly button, poopy hole. Now remember to keep the scissors as close as you can to the skin, so we're not going to pierce any of those organs. bit of running water would help. Now if you hold it upside down right, what you want to do now is you want to you want to grab out the, the tail part. Oh. Oh, I just pulled out an organ. You probably don't want to do that. Now just grab out the uh, the inner skin, and you want to peel back that peel back that outer skin. Oh, there you go. See how it's all dangling there? Now you want to just grab these excess skins. And just remove all that. There you go. Now, you want to just cut the head off. Don't hit any of those organs. Alright. Now what I like to do is... I like to rinse my hands now. So give your hands a rinse. Even rinse your chopping board. You can never be too safe with these things. Alright, so give that a good rinse. And now um, we're right to go, continue. So you see all these, uh, it's got all this, um, it looks like white little uh, excess skin. So you want to peel back all that, you know, just in case that that's the uh, the poison layer of skin that Google seems to talk about. Mm. Interesting. Did I do this with the last ones that I made? <laughs> yeah. Makes me paranoid now. Probably not the best idea to wear glasses. Because uh, 
you might want to see everything that you're doing So now that it's just the skin, we want to grab the scissors, which technically you might want to wash this too. All right, so scissors. Now what you want to do now is, you want to find where that the center spine bone is and just have the scissors as close as you can and then we're just going to start snipping until you get up to the tail. See that's one side, now you want to do the same to the other side. There you go guys, now you've got your two fillet, now what you want to do is, you want to remove that center spine bit as the poison toxins may still be running through the spine, so you want to just snip that away. Give that a little bit of a rinse, and there you go, you have your puffer fish filleted. Now what you want to do from here is, you want to come this way guys yeah now we have the egg and panko crumb panko crumb all right so fill it now you want to you want to dip it in the egg bring it over to the panko crumb even put some fresh bits in there so this is the best to use it it makes it really like a nice prawn cocktail like what you get in um, like a tempura prawn but instead of one piece you got two Now I just like to squeeze it all on there. And then, um, there you go. Alright. You can even go for a double dip in the egg. And then, um, what you want to do from there is add some fresher bits. To cover it again so now it's uh, double coated so extra thickness extra uh, extra crunchy all right I think that's good enough eh? that in the um, freezer all right so here we go and now
up. Guys, probably a bit of a rough camera angle. A bit hard doing things one-handed. I guess this is when normal people have a cameraman. So you can catch all the angles without me having to hold the camera. But here's some that's already pre-made. And um, there you go. And then all of it, and then you can just uh, whack it in the air fryer. Now I'll show you um do all right you can use its skin you can use its skin see that's it's skin that you peel back eventually when you clean it you are left with um, a bit of puff fish skin now what you can do with that is if you wanted to be all creative and arts and crafty you can uh, wrap a knife Wrap a samurai sword. See, this is a uh, this is all puffer fished. Cool. Anyways, that's my um, puffer fish wrapped knife. All right, so there you go. So nothing gets wasted apart from. You gotta chuck out all this, all the terribleness. Alright, so all the terribleness is what we don't want. The head, the inner organs, eyes, the livers, all every organ that you, you see in there is we'll have to wrap that up and dispose of it properly. See you know, wrapped uh, double bagged and um, disposed of because um yeah. You wouldn't want to chuck it in the backyard. Um, your pets can die. Other life forms can die. You know? It's not too safe. So we need to dispose of everything properly to make sure no one eats that. Alright guys? Alright guys, thank you for tuning in. And um, yeah, remember to do it responsibly. And um, yeah, just, just do it safely guys. But if you follow all these instructions, everything should be okay. Should be. Should be. Oh. <laughs> should be. I know Google will tell you that uh, it's the most poisonous fish in the world and there is no antidote. And even the flesh is toxic. But I've eaten hundreds. And um, I seem to still be alive, so um, I must be doing something right. So... Google just tries to warn people, so then, you know, when they say the skin is poisonous, it's probably just this skin, right, with the spikes in it, and uh, the flesh, it's more like the organs and the eyes, so you just don't want to eat that. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in, and um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, I'll catch you next time, guys. Take care all, happy eatings. Peace.